We want to give a special thanks to MGA for sending these three dolls to us for free. What's up, Fabs and Besties? It's time for another episode of Does the Fit Fit? Where we do a little cross branding to see which fashion items can fit me. Not just you, all Barbies. Today we are taking a look at Rainbow High Fashion, the new doll line by MGA. We have a review for Ruby, Poppy, and Sunny on our YouTube channel. This is my newest addition to our Rainbow High collection, Skylar Bradshaw. I bought this doll at Target for $26.99. So here is a quick review. Skylar's theme is blue. Right out of the box, we have a lot of product in these front curls. They are pretty crunchy. Some of them have gotten a little squished from the packaging. The hair in the back has a little bit of a wave. The hair quality is still really nice. It's just my curls ain't perfect. Her hair is like three different shades of blue. We have a little bit of teal in there and a light pale blue. Her eyes are teal and blue. She has a pink lip color, a pearly finish on her skin. She wears a denim jacket with silver on the sleeves, faux buttons on the front, and this does feel like real denim. So if you want to distress it, I think that might be an option. I love it when they use real denim. Whoa, I was taking off the jacket and I accidentally pulled her hand <laughs> out of the socket and then I realized they can come off. So that's awesome. Removable hands is great. Oops, especially when you're trying to put on clothing. Under the jacket, she wears a jean top over a white t-shirt. I'm taking a close look at that t-shirt and it looks as if the sleeves were sewn with the wrong side facing up. So maybe that was on purpose. I don't know. It's not that noticeable, but I know what the inside of a t-shirt looks like. And that definitely looks like the inside of a t-shirt. The jean top and the t-shirt are two separate pieces. She wears a short jean skirt with silver printed details, the same belt with a silver buckle. Her ears are pierced and she wears blue moon earrings. There are faux silver buttons going down the front of the skirt. She wears see-through shoes with an iridescent finish, painted white laces. The bottoms are blue and it even says blue. And she wears blue sky socks underneath. With these shoes, it is possible to balance her to stand. However, she does come with a doll stand like the other dolls. She also has an extra pair of shoes. These have fishnet socks. They are dark blue on the bottom, a pearly teal strap, and an orange tag. The shoes and the socks are separate. Her second outfit is a long sleeve t-shirt with rainbow going down the sleeves and a blue faux leather dress with a belt, a zipper, little faux zipper details, faux buttons, lots of nice stitching here, and it velcros in the back. This doll is fully articulated. The head can move from side to side. There's movement at the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, the upper thigh, and the knee. She comes with blue hangers and a comb. Her skin tone is more tan than Poppy, but not as deep as Sunny. I'm gonna comb out her hair to see if we can get rid of this box hair. I had to spray the hair with water to remove some of the hairspray or the gel, and now my curl is uh, pretty much gone. Yeah, it's straight. So my first set of dolls were perfect right out of the box. This one that I bought at Target, I had to spend a little time, you know, just uh, working on her hair. But just keep in mind, this is my experience and yours might be completely different. Uh, um, what about me? Right, we want to see which outfits from the Rainbow High collection in our current possession will fit our Made to Move Barbies. Mini Toya has the classic Made to Move body type. 
we're gonna try on this faux leather dress from Skylar. The first thing I noticed is that it's not a dress on the Barbie, it's a shirt. But this faux leather has a little bit of stretch to it, so we were able to Velcro it in the back for a cute little leather top. The socks are a little baggy and the shoes totally do not fit. I already have trouble walking in heels. Let's not try to walk in big heels. But we can use the socks with our Creatable World shoes. I'm trying on the denim jacket. It's a little snug, cutting me in the armpits just a little bit, but technically I was able to get it on. This is what it looks like in the back. I think the leather top is making it a little bulky, so let's try a different shirt. Here is Skylar's white shirt and skirt. The skirt is a very nice fit. Love the belt. The top is pretty short. It's like a super crop top. I'm not sure if this is going to fit. And that's a no. But with the jean jacket, I can do a little layering and rock that double denim. It might be better to wear this jacket with like a sleeveless shirt or a tank top. But the BMR 1959 Petite Barbie can totally wear the denim top. It Velcros in the back and everything. Oh, and her skirt looks better with this because it's high-waisted. Look at me being all fashionable. Look out, y'all. Vogue, here I come. And I'm taking these cloud socks. They're comfy. I'm raiding Sunny's wardrobe now. Do you think this will fit? Oh man, I can't get it to close in the back. But if I put a jacket on, I might be able to get away with it. Here it is on a petite Barbie. And we're just gonna call her Claudette after her face sculpt. We can get it to close just a little, but this dress has almost no stretch. I forgot all about this shirt. It belonged to Skylar. It's still a crop top, but it's a little longer than the other t-shirt. I really like the details on the arm. Yeah, I'm totally adding this to my wardrobe. Now, Sunny, where were we? I would love to say this gold top fits, but that's a no. It doesn't fit Claudette either. But these yellow pants are definitely a win. I paired it with a white Creatable World top. Now let's try on the jacket to complete the look. The cut of this jacket is pretty much the same as the jean jacket. It's a little tight under the arms, but the sleeveless shirt does help to cut down on some of the bulk. Let's try this jacket. I have a feeling I am going to love it. Yeah! The length of this jacket is perfect. The arms are a tiny bit short, so I pushed up the sleeves. It was a bit of a pain getting my hands past the cuffs. And you have to be careful with this gold fabric not to pull on it too much because it messes up the metallic finish. But with this outfit, you totally can't tell that it wasn't made for a Barbie. I mean, come on, it fits me perfectly. Moving on to Poppy's wardrobe. I don't think this is going to fit. Yeah, this clearly wasn't made for me. Will someone tell me why Barbies aren't made with removable hands? Let's try her dress. Even though I have a feeling this isn't gonna go very well. Wait, what? I stand corrected. The orange faux leather top kind of fits. I was able to close it in the back. The cups are off just a little bit, but hey, we got it on. This faux leather top has a little bit of stretch to it, so yay! The peach dress becomes more like a peach shirt. It's actually kind of cute, like a camisole. Couldn't get it to Velcro all the way in the back, but I can totally cover that. Here we go, uh, with my hair. Yeah, well, the sweatshirt hoodie is pretty short. It might as well be a sports bra. Don't get me wrong, I'm not judging. If you like this look, feel free to rock it. I, on the other hand, am gonna put an undershirt on. Eh, this looks weird. Well, at least the orange leather skirt fits. I had no problem closing it in the back. So yay, we can add it to our wardrobe. 
Ooh, let's try on Sunny socks. Just like the other socks, they're a little baggy, but with the right pair of shoes, they'll be just fine. And between you and me, if you know that you are never giving them back to your Rainbow High doll, just turn them inside out, stitch them up the back to make them a perfect fit. I'm kind of surprised I was able to get all of this from Poppy. Our last one is Ruby. Now we showed many of her clothing items in our unboxing, but I didn't show my face so you didn't get the whole effect. So let's do it again. Ruby's pants and shirt are like perfect. I love this Supreme inspired top and these pants look fantastic on me, if I do say so myself. The plaid shirt wrapped around the waist totally works. And if I pull enough, there we go. I, I think I got it. I can fit the top. Although breathing might be an issue. Oh, wait a minute. I don't breathe. So yeah, <laughs> we're good. Yeah. Warning. Trying to put clothes on a doll that it wasn't designed for could result in the untimely demise of your fashion items. So yeah, you've been warned. Well, Claudette. Nice outfit. Wait, is that the orange poppy sweatshirt I could not fit? Mm-hmm. And creatable world jeans with real pockets? Yep. <gasps> so not fair. The petite made-to-move body can wear creatable world pants, but the Velcro barely touches in the back. So when she goes to sit down, make sure it's against a wall. Nope, still can't fit this top. But this jacket is totally a win. Dude, I can wear this like everywhere. In my room, my studio, the kitchen, the backyard. Yeah, those are uh, pretty much all the places I go. And here is the skirt. I knew it was gonna fit because we haven't had any problems with any of the pants so far. So yeah, I knew it was gonna work. My outfit is like so super coordinated right now. <laughs> this is totally not like me. So there you have it. We found four Rainbow High dolls so far and we went through all of their fashions to see, does the fit fit? I would totally be on board for fashion packs. Just throwing that out there. Thank you for joining us for another episode of does the fit fit where we try other brands fashion items on Barbies? Let us know in the comments down below which brands you would like us to try out next. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Hey.